Hello and welcome back for another CMM Tech Tip. I'm Trevor McLaughlin and I teach PC Demos courses here at CMM. In this tutorial, I'll show you how we incorporate view sets into our PART program, allowing us to control what view appears on our CAD only report. So I have 12 dimensions to report, but I don't want them to be all on the same page or unequally distributed on two pages. I want to have control over that. So the way we do that is by using view sets. First we define a view set and then we recall it. So if you look at my edit window here you can see I have three view sets defined. The top, the mid, and the right. And then I recall them prior to the four dimension clusters. So if I click on my edit window can see that that's the view I want to show prior to dimensioning those four hits. The mid view and the right view. So because I've saved those ahead of time and recalled them before the dimensioning, that's how it will appear on my report. So I'll quickly show you how I did that. So I'll just scale the fit here. So let's focus in on that sphere. Let's say I wanted to recall that at some point and incorporate that into my report. So I've just zoomed in there and once I have the screen the way I like it, I'll save it using the Create Views button and this is found on our Graphic Modes toolbar. So the software will ask us to define it or to name it. I'll call it Sphere and click OK. So that saved view is now stored in the Settings toolbar in the view pull down. So you can see it there, sphere. So I can define it anywhere and I can also recall it anywhere. So let's scale the fit again. I'll put my cursor at the beginning of the program and just as an example I'll recall that. So you can see all the view sets I've defined ahead of time. Let's click on sphere and you can see the graphic window automatically snaps to that saved view and my edit window now has a recall view set command and that can be used prior to a dimension on a CAD only report just the way I've set it up. Okay so let's delete that. I don't want that in my report. I'll scale the fit again. Okay so let's have a look at our report and I'll show you how that looks. So here we are. I'm using the CAD only landscape report template. So I think that works well for this part. You can see I have three pages. My first page shows a nice neat representation of that top view and my four dimensions. Page two is my midpoints. And again, you can see it's nice, nicely laid out. I don't have to make any changes. I've done that ahead of time. And finally, my right side points. So same there. So it's nice, nicely laid out. I don't have to make any changes. Uh, it's very presentable to the customer. Well, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. <laughs>